What's up, it's Marco, Sage's Soccer, and the U.S. are out of the World Cup after a 3-1 loss to the Netherlands, and it's a very disappointing game. I mean, we're all really excited about this national team, but I think we're leaving with our heads held high. Speaking of the individual players, everybody had a great tournament. I don't think anybody uh, played below their expectation level, and I think we can leave with a lot of excitement towards 2026. It's a really good group. We saw Pulisic step up and show his star power. Tim Way had an amazing tournament. Josh Sargent looked really good in his role. Haji Wright popped up with a goal. Zardes-esque, but it's still good job there. Tyler Adams had just a breakout tournament. I would not be surprised if a team like Manchester United comes calling for him. Then we had some good performances by Yanis Musa. Weston McKinney had a lot of good goal involvements. Serginho Dest really stepped up his play. He's going to go back to Milan in some great form. Jedi Robinson had a really solid tournament bombing up downfield. Uh, Tim Ream. Really good performance, probably a swan song for the U.S. He proved that he should. He proved that he belonged. Uh, Walker Zerman, he he was all right. Uh, Cameron Carter Vickers stepped in and had a really good performance. Matt Turner, he made he didn't have to make any like really good saves, but he stepped up and I think that he showed that he belonged as our number one. It was a really good tournament for all of our players. Like I think we can leave with our heads held high. Uh, for this game in particular, we even dominated possession against the Dutch. Um, Granted, I think that was part of their game plan. Uh, Louis van Hall set them up in a similar way against Senegal, where the Netherlands would attack with very few players, almost playing for a draw, but they'd always have men back behind. If Pulisic put away that chance early, that would have been amazing, but he's he's not 100%. He's a warrior for even playing, and he got himself an assist anyway. But it would have been really good if we could have got that early goal, put Netherlands on the back foot. But, um, hey, it's what it is. Uh, they end up getting a goal. It was a really good counterattack by them. Uh, it was so weird because we were really pressing Frankie de Jong. Like, we didn't press anybody the entire tournament, but we sent Hayes Ferrer running at Frankie de Jong. Like, the best player on the ball we faced this entire tournament would just make a mistake. And then that kind of left, left us open, and they got a good chance on the break. Memphis Depay with a great uh, goal. Times probably could have tracked him, but I think our center backs really should have dealt with the runner a bit better. And... You know, sucks. Uh, for us, we really couldn't get much going forward, especially in the first half. Hayes Ferreira is a very promising player. I truly believe he's going to be good. And to, don't get on him for, like, this bad performance today. He was put in a position to fail. He's not a true number nine. But, man, he was awful today. And most of our chances were coming down the right-hand side uh Tim Weah and Serginho Dest really had the advantage on Daily Blind, but uh, they were putting in crosses and that really wasn't working. And Blind, we made some changes at halftime. Uh, Gio Reyna came on to play a bit of a false nine. I think that's a move that we all wanted to see, but it's a move that we wanted to see a lot earlier. We wanted to experiment with that in June and in September, like how we wanted to see Cameron Carter Vickers and Tim Ream start together, but do it much earlier. And I think that's kind of the crux of this tournament. This game wasn't really lost today. I think this game was lost when John Brooks was dropped, when we decided to go away from Jordan Peefock, when we gave too many chances to Hayes Ferreira, Aaron Long, Paul Ariola, Jordan Morris, Sebastian Legette. That's when the game was lost, though I have to say taking off Tim Way it certainly didn't help. Uh, for the Netherlands, they were looking really good. Um, they execute their game plan to perfection our only goal was just a complete kind of fluke though I should say that Hadjarite should have scored the earlier goal but he made up for it uh Frank Dion looks really good uh Memphis Depay if he's on form like this Netherlands are going to be good going into that uh, Argentina game and Nopart was making some good saves it was a very strong performance by them uh for us individually I think that uh we had one player who was like playing really well. That was Tim Weah. He was putting in a lot of really nice crosses. Always a threat when attacking. I think it was such a big mistake to take him off. Um, then for like some average players, uh, Tyler Adams. He was doing really well. Set up Pulisic for that early chance. He probably could have done better on that first goal, which is why I'm not putting him in like a really good category. But he had a very solid performance today. Sergino Dest was also making things happen. I think he was attacking too individually at times, but you can say the same for like uh, Musa, Pulisic, Gio Reyna. Like a lot of players are trying to do things too individually, but he was really trying to make things happen. Um, then uh, 
probably like a little bit of knockdown, not in bad, but like uh, Turner, he really couldn't do anything about uh, the goals. He had a couple of good saves. Uh, Pulisic like got the assist, and he's a warrior for playing, but he wasn't at his best. I think Jedi Robinson was solid. He got beat by Dumfries, but again, similar to what I said, like at the beginning, he didn't play below his level. Like he's like a lower level Premier League attacker. He was going up against a, a Serie A winner, Champions League level right back. Like, and he got beat. Like I'm not going to judge him too much for that. I thought he was offering his energy. Like this wasn't like if you think he played bad today, you probably should have been thinking he's been playing bad the entire tournament. He's been playing the same for a while. But I think my opinion on Robinson is, like, kind of polarized. Like, there have been times where I was like, oh, man, Robinson was really bad today. As I look on, like, see how other people thought. They're like, oh, Robinson was really good. And I was like, oh, okay, I thought he was really good one game. Everybody thought he was bad another, so I don't know. Uh, for players who weren't that great, uh, Yenis Musa was kind of invisible today, not getting on the ball as much. Uh, the Netherlands did make it a point to mark him. I saw Frank de Jong on him a lot. So, like, I don't think it's really on him, but... Probably could have done a bit more. I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do in 2026. Uh, West McKinney was making a lot of mistakes on the ball. I'm leaning towards we probably should have started Gio Reyna as a 10 instead of him. He's making a lot of errant passes. I think I stand by like my comparison to Klassen on the Netherlands, where they're making good goal contributions, but a lot of mistakes in possession. Uh, then we had uh, our two center backs didn't have the best game. Um, Reem was probably as bad in possession as he's looked the entire tournament, and Zimmerman, Hammer Carter Vickers should have started. He's just too slow on the ball and really didn't help out any of our players at all. Like, Adams left that run, or Adams let Depay run open. Zimmerman didn't do anything to help, and I, I really think we could have been a lot better if Cameron Carter Vickers started this game. And then Pace Frere just, he wasn't put in a position to succeed. He's not a number nine, but man, that was not a good performance. Uh, for our subs, uh, Reyna really didn't get to impact the game much. You know, it's kind of weird that there are apparently issues with him and Burhalter. Like, well, one, like, I think he's, Burhalter's pretty close with uh, Reyna's dad. And, like, I thought there wouldn't be any issues at all. We bought Christian rolled on to the tournament. Like, the vibe should be impeccable. Uh, Aronson came on. He was, I think he's been, like, kind of all right this entire tournament. He's being played out of position. He's a number 10 naturally. We don't play with the number 10 because the system's God, and I don't think he was at his best. Haji Wright scored the goal. It was a Zardes-esque goal, kind of just found its way into the back of the net. Um, should have scored a goal earlier, though, so I think it kind of evens out. I think that the main problem with Wright this tournament is that Burhalter can't profile players. He looked at Wright and said, oh, he's like a huge guy. He's really strong. He's going to be our guy who we bring on late in games. He's a physical presence. He's going to win headers. But that's not really Wright's game. Wright's a lot more of a technical player. He's more of like a like-for-like -like swap with Josh Sargent. And, like, he is really big, but he doesn't do much with his height. He doesn't do much with his physicality. And I don't think that Burhalter realized that. He said that he brought Wright instead of Jordan Peefock, and... P. Falk is that physical presence. I think he is developing his game. He's becoming a lot more well-grounded than the Bundesliga. But he is that physical guy, and I think Barholder just didn't realize that. And then late in the game, we subbed on DeAndre Yedlin, Jordan Morris to sub on a goal, which kind of just subs up Burhalter as a coach. Remember when he did that with Daniel Levitz in, like, uh, was that 2019 Gold Cup final? That was insane. He did pass to Pulisic, who got the assist, but... You're subbing on DeAndre Yedlin when we're looking for a goal. Like, come on. And Jordan Morris, like, he he would have been one of our better players in 2018. I'm not going to be too harsh on him. But he wasn't good enough after his first ACL tear. He's certainly not good enough after his second. Uh, for Parker Halter himself, like, he was outcoached, but it's Louis Van Hall. Like, similar to, like, when I was like, okay, I'm not going to judge Robinson for being, like, beat by Dumfries. Like, it's... Like, that's Louis Van Hall. Like, he's going to outcoach most of the managers in this tournament. I still want Burhalter out. I wanted him. He should have never been hired in the first place. I think he's held back this team. But, like, this really, you can't judge too much on this. Uh, I think for our players who also should be gone, um, probably time for Tim Ream to retire from the national team. Uh, did a great job this tournament, but he's not going to be here come 2026. And I think it's time to get 
Cameron Carter Vickers make him a regular. He really should have been a regular since legitimately 2017. Go back and look at my video talking about our uh, uh, Trinidad five years later. Like, even at the time, Cameron Carter Vickers really should have been with us then. You know, get him as a starter now. Chris Richards is going to be back. We've got Mark McKenzie, Austin Trusty, Eric Palmer Brown. Like, give all of them a look. And then I think every MLS player should be gone except for Hayes Ferreira. Probably, like, wait until he moves to Europe for him to get back into the team. He's not a striker. And I think even as a 10, I prefer Gio Reyna, uh, Brendan Aronson, probably Malik Tillman as well. So, like, make him play at a higher level before he gets back in the team. And I don't think we should shut the door on Shaq more. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have been in, at this World Cup. But I, I think there's some potential there. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this game. Again, I think it was a very good performance this World Cup from us. We can leave with our heads held high. You know, I think every player did it about as well as they could have. Like, even guys like, like, okay, I'll be honest, I think Walker Zimmerman was our worst starter, but I think he did as well as I thought he would. Like, I don't think there's any player who had a terrible tournament who cost us the game. Everybody did as well as they were expected to. And some players like Tyler Adams, Christian Pulisic, Tim Weah, they really stepped up and helped us out a lot. And it's disappointing to go out right now, but I'm really excited for the future. 2026, that's going to be our year. And let's go. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch the rest of the World Cup. And yeah, that's all I've talked about. It's fun to watch this tournament. Going to keep covering it. And yeah, see ya.